Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Listen. Just like the rest of America, I don't know about you, but I tuned in to 60 Minutes last night to see the big story everybody's talking about. The profile of Greek NBA superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo. But happy Saganaki to the Greek community. But yes, yes, yes. before that yes. story, 60 Minutes aired Anderson Cooper's exclusive interview with porn star Stormy Daniels, which drew the highest ratings for 60 Minutes in 10 years. Yeah, they haven't had numbers like that since Mike Wallace went undercover as a pole dancer. <laughs> and and that, means, that means Stormy Daniels got higher ratings than Donald Trump did right after he was elected president. Wow. Oh, that's, nice. wow. that's, that's got to sting. And... <laughs> The interview covered everything. The president had sex with a porn star. She spanked him with a magazine with his face on it. He didn't wear a condom. Later, they watched Shark Week. Then his lawyer paid her to keep her mouth shut. Now Trump's suing this porn star for $20 million. It's an insane, salacious tale about a sitting president and the least surprising story I have ever heard. <laughs> of course, you knew it. It all felt real. It all felt real. It felt real. All felt true. Yeah. That felt truer than him getting elected. And, <laughs> of course, Ms. Daniels fleshed out the story a bit with a disturbing amount of flesh. He was showing you his own picture on the cover of the right, magazine. Right. And I was like, someone should take that magazine and spank you with it. And I said, you know, give me that. And he, I just remember him going, you wouldn't. Like, Hand it over. And uh, so he did. And I was like, Turn around, drop him. So he turned around and pulled his pants down a little. You know, he had underwear on and stuff, and, and I just gave him a couple swats. And uh, from that moment on, he was a completely different person. How so? He quit talking about himself, and he asked me things, and I asked him things, and it just became, like, you know, a more appropriate. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Couple of spanks, and Donald Trump started acting more appropriate. <laughs> John Kelly, you know what to do. It's for your country. It's for your country. Stormy also described how Trump compared her to the number one woman in his life. He's like, wow. You, you are special. You remind me of my daughter. Wow. That is awkward. But not nearly as awkward as when he said to Ivanka, honey, you remind me of this porn star I had sex with. <laughs> and then we got to the big event. I excused myself and I went to the, the restroom. You know, I was in there for a little bit and came out and he was sitting, you know, on the edge of the bed when I walked out. Perched. I realized exactly what I'd gotten myself into. And I was like, ugh. Here we go. Ugh. <laughs> uh, here we go. Coincidentally, that was the official theme of Trump's inaugural ball. <laughs> and, uh, Oh. Here we go. Just, just strap in. Later, let's see, years later, this is years later, Stormy sold her story to In Touch magazine. Trump found out, got the story killed, and then this happened. I was in a parking lot going to a fitness class with my infant daughter. I was taking, you know, the seats facing backwards in the back seat, diaper bag, you know, getting all the stuff out, and a guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, a, a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. And then he was gone. Wow. I mean, that, that guy should go to jail for life. Mm -hmm. and, not, and not just for that threat, but for the hackneyed mobster dialogue. <laughs> hey, nice place you got here. Shame if something happened to it. Take the gun, leave the cannoli. What am I, a clown? Get your shine box. It's a me, mom. When you're here, you're family. <laughs> and get your shine box. That's all of those. All of those. I don't shine shoes anymore. Abundanza. I don't shine shoes anymore. And this morning, Ms. Daniels' lawyer told us, wait, there's more. What I will say is that she was prepared to discuss um, intimate details relating to Mr. Trump. Uh, she can describe his genitalia. Wow. So can I. <laughs> I think I can describe all men's genitalia. 
not that pretty. Uh, a deboned naked mole rat, a lump of Play-Doh that rolled under the couch and picked up some lint, one of those weirdly pale German sausages. I believe they're called Das Itzy Bitsy Kleine Schwanze. Also, I like that song.